Welcome to our introduction to Windows XP. In this video, we'll look at how to turn off your computer. In this video, I'm going to talk you through something that chances are you're already familiar with, but I'll just quickly go through it now, just in case. Let me go to the Start menu first of all, left click, and I'll just quickly go through how to turn off your computer. There's the Log Off option, and there's the Turn Off Your Computer option. If we just left click on that once, and here are the options. You can Stand By, which effectively puts your computer to sleep until you wish to return, which, as it says, puts your computer into a lower power state so you can quickly resume your Windows session, or perhaps it should add that you can quickly resume your Windows session later. Then there's Turn Off. If I left click on the Turn Off button, it shuts down my computer. Left click on Restart, then it shuts down, then restarts your computer. If your computer is behaving strangely, often a reboot or restart is all that's needed to fix some issues. So just left click and restart, but obviously I can't do that now because I'm recording, so I'm going to just cancel. Left click. OK, back to the Start menu, and log off. If you have multiple user accounts in Windows XP and someone else wants to log into their account on this computer, you don't necessarily have to log off. You can just switch between different users if you wish, but it's often suggested that you log off, just left click and log off, and other users of a computer can then log in, and they have control of the computer through their user account. Through their user account, they can personalize settings and so on. That's a very quick run-through of the log off and the turn off computer functionality, which is available through the Start menu.